Thank you very much. I must say, I don't think I have ever participated in a closing ceremony in this room with so much enthusiasm. We can, we can feel it throughout the ITU. Ladies and gentlemen, Fairman organizers, student delegates, good afternoon. Since I joined you on Wednesday for your impressive opening in the historic Human Rights Room, you've all been working very hard in your negotiations and in your drafting of resolutions. Many of you have been extremely busy in carrying out support functions, such as interpretation, translation, and of course liaising with the work of the different committees. I've heard such amazing things about the interpreters and the translators. If you pursue careers in this field, please give us a call when you graduate. Some of you have also been writing articles, taking pictures, managing the layout and the production of this excellent moon gazine, which will serve, of course, as a wonderful reminder when you leave this fair moon 14. Others have been working with ITU's own video team led by Max uh, to prepare the fantastic closing video that we saw at the start of our session. From what I've seen myself and from what I've heard from my colleagues from the ITU that have been attending your sessions is that the debates have been great. They've been exceptionally high. This, of course, is very encouraging to us. As I said to you in my opening address, tackling a problem as complex and global as climate change means tapping into the power of youth, tapping into you, into your energy, your ideas, your creativity, and your passion. And that is what we've done this week. I'd like to come back to something that Juliana said in the opening on Wednesday. You truly have been heroes in your commitment to find innovative solutions. And I hope that many of you will continue your heroic efforts when you return back home. As many of you know, the ITU Secretary General is very supportive of this event. He was most disappointed that he couldn't be with you on Wednesday for our opening, but he is here with you today virtually, and we're going to try something. We hope that it works. We are going to Skype him in from his home in Bamako, Mali. And without further ado, I think uh, I'll ask the technicians to bring to us Dr. Hamadoun Touré.